So I didn't want to do ministry at all. I went to school and in school, I began to learn how to pray. Mm. And when I prayed for things, they happened. So when I come across people who are struggling, I wanted to pray for them. And as I prayed for people, it happened. They were happy. The joy gave me fulfillment. So I wanted to pray for more people. Mm. In the bid to pray for more people and help people, I began to teach. In the bid to do that, I'm still doing that till today. Mm. So why is it that I don't care what anybody thinks? I just say what I need to say. Because number one, truth is authority. Truth is authority. When you have truth, you're not afraid of anybody. Number two, I preach not for people, but I preach for the Christ who called me. Because one day I will face him and give account for everything I preach, mm -hmm. for everything I say. And in all good conscience, I want to be found worthy before him when I see him. So I don't care what anybody is doing. I will say what the truth is. Then finally, Brother Paul in scripture, who is one of the apostles we model after, said, do Hello, Ebusiafo. So, we'll persifita asura cho odo fo de. And then, now fa wun kodom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong kwa. What did you choose? And ma will see eye fita. Na eye fita non suno. Na eye and kalboni bia e wo wo numu bia. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain si bia. Unique laser whitening product. Ebe yi ni nyine efri suwa ma wakama wakama wakama. Di yao bayani se utu so. Na o di biye gu. O brush de so. Na o di e chuchu o sene su nyina kama. O yuya. En wu huwe nu mu janu wa we nu mu sa. Inti ufre unique laser whitening. E wo 079-9979-2330. Unique laser whitening. O se mu ni ses. Dr. Ebel Demina. E dinko mo. Na eye um, podcast show. E na okoso. So e ni pa be mse be 8 or 9. E na eti so. E no mudin komo. Na Dr. Ebel Demina. Se mwa u kanye e wo page ni so. O se. 1. Adi kunti a wo kano kore. E fa e tro e di fo omu toni oma wa aso de em. E ni omu omu jiji sika e wa aso de em no. E ni se. Wano anka se wa ye bi pen. Nombe 2. Ye wono e to e ye kristo sumu. E suna ono. When you be a Christo ni until so she a Christo na ankasa or can I say moho. No matter or see at the club potin tia with this uncle for no common say mu ni say a Christo Sumono and I say a ye a sorry tia na kuye business. Inti ubi wa na ye japa de no de janem ma with this uncle mon so o page in us was n no kre can walk in tea de biano ye trouble on the bar. Yung ko tie pastor doctor demina ebel and some more two eja. I was born into church. Mm -hmm. My father was a pastor. My mother was a pastor mm -hmm. with the Assemblies of God Church. Now I'm calling the church so you know my background. Mm -hmm. I was born into Assemblies of God Church, into a pastor's house. I was actually born in the church. Mm -hmm. Because in Assemblies of God, the pastor's house is attached to the church yeah. building. You actually come from the parsonage into the pulpit. So I was born inside there. So I was born in the church. I grew up in the church. But that didn't make it automatic that I received Christ. No. Mm. I was religious, moral, because those were things that we were taught to do as children. But as I grew up, I began to look for the essence of my life. What is life all about? Is it eat food, wake up, go out, come back, die? What's life about? That quest led me to seeking to know God. And in my search to know God, I came by the love of God, which is the gospel. I began to understand that God loves man and all of that. And then I received Christ. That's how I got into a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Now, as I grew in life, I didn't want to be a pastor. I never dreamt. In fact, back in the days, people know me. If you call me pastor, I will tell you, you are not well. I didn't want to have anything because the way church people treated my parents was so bad. And I didn't want to fall into that, that whole thing. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to make money, support pastors that were like my father. That was my plan. So I didn't want to do ministry at all. I went to school and in school, I began to learn how to pray. Mm. And when I prayed for things, they happened. So when I come across people who are struggling, I wanted to pray for them. And as I prayed for people, it happened. They were happy. The joy gave me fulfillment. So I wanted to pray for more people. Mm -hmm. In the bid to pray for more people and help people, I began to teach. In the bid to do that, I'm still doing that till today. Mm. So why is it that I don't care what anybody thinks? I just say what I need to say. Because number one, truth is authority. Truth is authority. When you have truth, you're not afraid of anybody. Number two, I preach not for people, but I preach for the Christ who called me. Because one day I will face him 
and give account for everything I preach, mm. for everything I say. And in all good conscience, I want to be found worthy before him when I see him. So I don't care what anybody is doing. I will say what the truth is. Then finally, Brother Paul in scripture, who is one of the apostles we model after, said, do I now please men? He said, if I please men, I shall not be a servant of God. So we preach the gospel not to please people, but to please God who called us to preach the gospel. That's why is, I speak the word. You know why that issue is an issue? Is because the church is seen as a business. Mm. It's pastors that are causing all this problem. Because it's seen as a business where you keep raising money, raising money, you buy jets, you build houses and you flaunt it and you're flashy all over the place. So you're like a superstar. And then you want to go, you hand over that wealth to your children. So it's like a family business. Mm. But that's not supposed to what it's supposed to be. The church is supposed to be the pillar and the ground of the truth where Christ is dispensed, not where we sell and buy, not where we make merchandise, mm. where people are led to an active relationship with God, where people are taught to live their lives to please God. That's what the church is supposed to be. Are people supposed to give in church? When their lives are blessed, they will give to support the work. But the main core of the church is not supposed to be collecting, giving, and uh, all kinds of, of gimmicks. Mm -hmm. That is why Jesus went to the temple with a whip and whipped out people that were selling and buying. And that's the same thing we see replicating today. Now, having said that, let me say this also. When it comes to ministry and, and the, the handover of ministry, if you observe in the Old Testament, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, it was like family, mm -hmm. okay? But if you also look in the Old Testament, Moses was to hand over to Aaron and Miriam who were members of his family, but he handed over to Joshua. So which means there are some situations where if the children of the pastor have demonstrated a commitment to the call of God, a dedication, a consecration, and it's obvious and evident that there's a call of God on their life to serve that congregation, there's nothing wrong. But if those children of the pastor don't even have any mark of God's call, they just carry them like CEO, CEOs and put, then something is wrong with that. And also there are cases where the pastor's children may not be excited about wanting to do ministry, where the man of God will have to look in the congregation for somebody like Joshua, who has learned, who has grown, and who is serving that church and can fill into those shoes and be a blessing to that congregation. There's no hard rule about it. That's the point I'm making. Yeah. And it's not supposed to be a an inheritance for a family. Yeah. No. It's supposed to be built on calling, devotion, maturity, and the ability to serve the people of God, the grace of God. Na mi anka sami meto dis ni you at the meto na se bi ko ni pe bia no wa na bi chusi the opese we yewo abra bo but you see wo to nkremu su mu a automatic wa be ekremu ni ye wo to e ye buda fu mu a be buda ni but wa anka sa no unim wo destination any de wo pe wa sa se so wonyi ni du ba bi na afi wo kan sem bi a any de ye wo tu mu no emfa na mu hu so ya ye bon sam kra ana so fo so e wo all over the world so be wu a no de agane ba en hu komo na papa e di Uti di woken ya for a comment any a ye like page in a share to comment a very important pa comment in hun here and only me hun ni pa eighty any a jene wo mutrim any how wo musi a jenifer program sa ye yum for comment in comment section ne like page you know so said the bear brought up a man called for a tea the papa can ye why didn't you want to say a bush and for a bit mabe can a corner back family no home that is a membership program a ye a youtube channel also na a registration uber register and so be a part of it make sure how be say be register no na e din tin e wose obe ka ho bi be a part of a corner bar membership program no e wo e ye youtube wa me wo videos a hudu bi wo ha me ye post to a members ne nko an e be nya hwe e be do time bi meet me members no a ye podcast a ye live videos with members ne nko a e no ye one and number 2 ye wo e ye nyanka e wi sene akuna phobia aye a me e corner bar ne me nko phobia o ma be ka me ho it is called Ghana. I call you a doye. It is what be a part of a year a corner bar membership program. Maybe a home. I YouTube ha. Ube timi so a sponsor. Anasa abe kan se edume di yon. Into be kan YouTube membership program. Ya me kan huwa se mi huwa. Sika ube doneti. I will YouTube membership program no suwono. A YouTube for a beti a dear few account mono. Se obi a timi fre o a corner bar so a research mamia. Se sika ne be any timi a dima unko for Ghana to your mohoka because me tria tax. 
ema sa anko ofo no ekoko ye sa adwumadie no research no e de bo anko ofo a wo mo so e part of a konaba membership program yi hu into betime be part of a konaba membership program yi e wo youtube ha na e hu akwankyere eni wo betime akọ e ye video bi a e ye konaba ma post wo so no wo mia join no so wo mia join ni so a e be bi another page bi e de amao e ho na be fill in with details who we are now feeling one apply. No, I become a corner bar membership program in our YouTube. Ha, me dance so what he has. Be being actually was now on the asia. Obey to my level comment. I will be video. Be as a Mitchell Musso Eddie Achero.